Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline. Today we're going to talk about alien-looking beluga whales and weird-looking bears and bears that purr. So let's talk about the beluga whale. This uh, image here came across one of my Reddit posts, and the title was Beluga Whales Have Knees, which of course got my attention. You can see in this image it really does look like this beluga has knees. So I had to check this out. Apparently, belugas have just gotten really flabby, and the storyline is that they actually can control their flab and use it as a rudder to help steer. Now, overall, belug belugas are just looking weird to me. I don't remember them being really white. Um, I don't look remember them having like kind of a separate head versus the body region. Uh, these weird fins. This one just looks weird. It looks kind of eyeless there. And um, supposedly in 2012, it was discovered that some belugas can mimic the voice of humans. So this one supposedly learned to do that. Uh, another one where you can kind of see the, the neck-like almost features of the belugas. Uh, again, they're so white looking. I just remember them being kind of an ordinary gray color. These things look really pasty. Uh, there's another image. I couldn't find much information on this one. This one has gone fairly viral, but I can't trace this to any particular location. Okay, so here is another one where you can see it's kind of got knees, and I'm going to run a little clip of it so you can see the flab in action. So supposedly they can actually control this flab and use it as a rudder is the current storyline. So anyway, that's belugas. They're looking alien. Now I want to talk a little bit about bears. Um, there's been a whole lot of changes in the bears. The first and most mundane one are the black bears. Um, in my old timeline, black bears were black. They were very easy to identify because they were black, and grizzlies were brown, and polar bears were white, and the end of story. It was so simple. Well, now black bears come in more colors than any other North American mammal. They can be black, brown, cinnamon, blonde, blue-gray, or white. So this shows, this is the one I'm kind of used to. Uh, I discussed before about a lot of these black phase ones are getting kind of white around the snout, but that's kind of minor compared to some of the other changes. This one is... Um, a, a white phase one, they call it a spirit bear. Now another thing that somebody else mentioned that I had failed to notice is that the ears on these bears are getting a lot bigger. They used to be just kind of small for the size of the head. Uh, they look bigger than I remember and bigger than that commenter remembers. Okay, so that's the white phase one. Here is this gray, they're calling it blue-gray phase. Some places are calling it blue. Okay, and here are some more of them. Okay, traditional black. Here's a black that shows the snout being whitish. Okay, I think this one's like a cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon color. Yeah, we didn't have all those colors. This one's really weird. This is supposed to be a blonde colored one, but you can see it's still black, but it has this longer fur. Uh, it seems like the, the variations in fur have gotten more extreme. They didn't used to have that long of fur for me. Uh, this one is the brown color one. So now it's getting really hard to tell grizzlies from brown black bears. You know, the grizzlies are a little larger, but there's no real tell other than that between them. It used to be real simple. Cinnamon colored black bear again. All right, now this one's supposed to be a grizzly. The grizzlies are, they're getting a little blonde around the edges there, I think, but uh, overall they don't look that different now from other bears. See the ears again look a little larger than I remember. Here is a, 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 a white spirit bear. And that's supposed to be some kind of a black bear, but here are the gray ones, sometimes called blue. Okay, so there's all. Now, uh, there's some other new kind of bears. I saw these ones about two years ago. That looks really weird, and that's not how they look when they first came out, but these are the sun bears. And lately, the sun bears have looked more like people in bear suits than they look like bears. I mean, look at the way 
that image is. I just, I don't know how to describe it. They're just weird looking. You can see the, the um, kind of half sun shape on their neck. That's the first thing I did notice about them. And they were the first bear that I saw that had the weird, the weird sun shape. I just, uh, they, this is kind of a new change for them. Um, also, I saw this image here where they have this kind of, they almost have like a cobra neck now. Um, I didn't see that originally. Also, I've noticed that an, a lot of them are getting more of a complete sun ring on their neck. That one doesn't have it, but let's see if I can find. Like here, the the, net, the ring is almost getting completed on this one. So I'm wondering if there'll be like more of a whole circle on the neck eventually. Also uh, here, you can see their tongues are getting really long. At first, when I first saw this image, it only came out about halfway and the tongue just gets longer and longer. Now it's curling around. Just, uh, they just continue to morph. There's just more and more of these ridiculous tongue. I mean, what are they doing with this long tongue? I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a storyline eventually. Here's a cute little one. You can see the circle is almost complete now on its neck. Um, so just recently, there's been quite a bit of variation on the, the different neck patterns on these sun bears. Okay, so then let's talk about another kind of bear. This one is the, uh, this one is the sloth bear. That's right. Now, when they first came out, they were kind of ordinary looking but lately they've been looking, they, they look to me kind of like dogs. They've got this huge fluff out the side here. They're really, they were fluffy when they first showed, but now the face is just getting very doggy to me. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, it it's cute, but um, very just doggy. And the really long claws too on some of these bears. Uh, originally bears did not have these ridiculous looking claws. Look at this one. It just, it's so, it, the hair's gotten even longer on these. So that was the second one I, I noticed that had the, the, uh, the shape of the sun or half sun on the neck. Okay, so now there's a third one now that's shown up with the, the sun almost on the neck. These are a little more beefy, the big ears again. Uh, these are called Asiatic black bears. And uh, they look a little bit more like a traditional bear to me, except for that, that marking on the neck. But what's interesting about these is they have some interesting color morphs. Here's a blonde version of the Asiatic black bear. And you can see it, it's starting to look like a lion almost. The, there's a dark mane and a, and a light face. So that's the first time I've seen this image just recently here. And there's a new, 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 this one is a brand new off the presses bear. It's called the Andean bear or the spectacled bear. And it has all this weird color pattern on the face. The ears are more like I remember bears, but I've never heard of Andean bear. There just used to be a couple of them. But uh, there's quite a bit of variation on the face, but they are called the spectacled bear. So I'm betting that long term what we're going to see is more spectacle pattern on them on average a oh, cute bear but just uh look at this one oh he's starting to get weird colored nose now look at that so yeah that one's kind of hot off the presses for me okay so the last really interesting thing is i bet you didn't know this but apparently bears can purr and they're very cute when they do it so here's what they sound like when a bear purrs. That means I'm doing something right. Oh, the cutest sound. Well, hopefully you could hear that. Um, so anyway, that's about it. A lot of new, weird animal, animal behaviors, features, and species. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.